I'm sure many of you like how Apple animates its products on its website. If you go to apple.com and head over to the AirPods Pro page, you will see that almost everything is animated. These AirPods in the Hero section are animated. If I scroll down, you will see that these texts are animated. The Features sections are animated as well. If I keep scrolling and scrolling, we will reach this particular section. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this animation in Figma. So look what we have here. If I start scrolling right here, you will see that these earbuds start appearing one by one along with their sizes. So that's exactly what we are going to create today. You may think that it's so complicated, but believe me, it's so simple. All right, to create this animation in Figma, first we need to have our assets ready. So I want you to go ahead and download these images from Apple's website. You just need to right click on the AirPod, save it, and then right click on these earbuds one by one and save them as well. Once your assets are ready, just move them to your Figma project. I already prepared them here. Obviously they are not aligned once you import them. I just want you to select all the earbuds, align them vertically like this, and then select all these elements, including the AirPod, and just click on this option and click on distribute horizontal spacing to make sure that you have an even spacing between all these images. I set this value to 48, I think it's fine. I also created this desktop frame. You can just hit A on your keyboard and choose this desktop frame. Change the background color to black and you're ready to go. I also prepared this paragraph as you can see right here to make sure that everything looks exactly the same, but it's not gonna be animated, so if you don't have it, that's also fine. All right, once your desktop frame is ready, I want you to select all these images and put them inside your desktop frame, somewhere around here. Now we need to create those size labels these labels as you can see right here. So I am gonna hit T on my keyboard to select the text tool and create a text layer. I'm gonna type L. I already checked the font size of these text layers here. And I also checked the color code of this particular green color. So I'm gonna copy it from this text and just paste it right here to make it green. Now I'm gonna duplicate it move it to the left side. I'm gonna change it to M, duplicate it, hit Ctrl D or Command D, move it to the left. This one is gonna be S. Once again, duplicate it, move it to the left, and this one is gonna be XS. Now it's time to align them with the corresponding earbud. So I'm gonna align this XS with this one. I'm gonna select them both and make sure that they are perfectly aligned. These two as well, make sure that they are aligned. These two, and these two, all right? Okay, perfect. All right, so we have all the necessary elements. I may need to move these up a little bit, just like this. Now what we need to do is analyze our animation. Let's see what we have here. You see that first nothing is here, right? So the only element that's visible on the first page should be our AirPod. So we need to somehow hide all the earbuds and their size labels. And if I keep scrolling, as you can see, these earbuds, along with their size labels, start fading in. And also they slightly move to the left. You see that? So basically we need to have two different animations. We need to make them fade in and also we need to move them a few pixels to the left. So how should we prepare this first screen? As I said, here we don't need to see any of these earbuds. So I'm gonna select them all, make sure to select their labels as well. And I'm gonna decrease the layer opacity here in the inspector down to zero. But we are not done yet. While they are selected, I'm gonna move them to the right, maybe 16 pixels. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key on my keyboard and use the arrow keys to move them to the right by 16 pixels. Just like this, they have been moved. And now we can select this desktop frame and just duplicate it. Hit Ctrl D or Command D. Here on the next screen, we need to make the large earbud fade in. So I'm gonna select it, hold down the Ctrl key and select its label. Increase their opacity to 100%. And also we need to move them to their initial place. So I need to hold down the Shift key and move them to the left by 16 pixels just like this. And now we just need to repeat this process. I'm gonna select this desktop frame, duplicate it. Let's select the medium earbud and its label, increase their opacity to 100%, hold down the shift key 
and move them by 16 pixels to the left. I'm gonna duplicate it once again, select the small one, increase their opacity to 100%, move them to the left by 16 pixels. And last but not least, let's duplicate it, select these two, increase their opacity to 100% and move them to the left by 16 pixels. So in total, you need to get five different screens. All right, now we can go ahead and start animating them. However, as you may know, Figma doesn't allow us to animate it like this using a scroll bar, okay? So we don't have that feature. What we can do is select this desktop frame, head over to prototype, connect these two just like this, and just set the trigger to after delay. However, that's not what we are gonna do because I'm gonna show you how to create a scroll bar and just animate it like what you see on the Apple's website, okay? So let me remove this interaction. How can we create the scroll bar? It's quite simple. We just need to have a frame. So I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard to select the frame tool and just draw a simple frame just like this. And I'm gonna set its width to 10. And then as for the height, I'm gonna set it to 900. These values are so important because later we are gonna divide this height by five, okay? Since we have five different screens. So I'm gonna rename this frame to track. This is gonna be our scroll bar track. And I'm gonna change its color to maybe gray like this. And also I'm gonna make it completely rounded. So I'm gonna increase the corner radius. All right, next we need to have the thumb. The thumb is basically this particular element. So I'm gonna duplicate the track and I'm gonna change its color back to white. And then I'm gonna change its height. Since we have five different screens, I'm gonna divide it by five, okay? So here I'm gonna type forward slash five. And just like that, we will get 180. Now let me rename it to thumb. So we have the thumb and we have the track. Now I'm gonna place this thumb inside our track, just like this, but it's right there. We just need to align it to the center and top. All right, cool. Now what we can do is select this track, turn it into a component and add a variant to it to create a component set, just like this. Basically, we need to have five different variants. So I'm gonna enlarge this component set let me select this particular variant, put it right next to it, okay? Duplicate it until you have five different variants. Now we need to adjust the position of our thumb for each of these variants. The first one, the default one, should be intact, so we don't need to change it. For the second one, I'm gonna select the thumb, I'm gonna head over to the inspector, and here I'm gonna adjust its Y position, okay? Because I wanna move it down. So here I'm gonna type 180. For the third one, we need to have 380, just like that. For the fourth one, 560. And for the last one, we can just select it and align it to the bottom. So the Y should be 720. Now we just need to place this scroll bar in all our frames. So I'm gonna head over to assets and from here, I'm gonna drag and drop an instance of this scroll bar into my screens. So I'm gonna put it right there, align it vertically, just like that. I'm gonna move it to the left a little bit. Next, I'm gonna copy it, hit Control C or Command C, select the next screen, paste it here, and I'm gonna paste it for all these screens, just like this. Next, we need to select this scroll bar on the second screen. And here I'm gonna adjust its property value to variant two. I'm gonna select this one on the next screen, property one to variant three. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing, variant four and variant five. All right, we are almost done. Now we just need to connect these screens together. So our trigger is gonna be the thumb of our scroll bar. So I'm gonna select the thumb. It's so important, make sure not to select the track itself. Select the thumb, head over to prototype and just connect it to your next screen, just like this. The trigger is gonna be on drag. The animation should be smart animate and I'm gonna set the duration to 500. Then we need to repeat this process again and again for each of these screens. So I'm gonna select this thumb, head over to prototype, connect it to the next screen. The trigger should be on drag, smart animate 500. Let's do it for this one, on drag, smart animate 500. 
and finally for this one on drag smart animate and 500 now it's time to check out our animation let's see whether it works or not i'm gonna hit play all right so i'm gonna click and drag this thumb down just like this there we go it's animated the next stop is gonna be medium small and xs that's perfect However, this animation only works one way. So if you want to make sure that it works both ways, so you can hide these elements as well, you just need to select this last one, this last thumb, and connect it back to this screen, just like this. Again, the trigger should be on drag, smart animate 500, and then you need to just repeat this process again and again. I'm gonna fast forward this process. All right, let's see whether it works or not. There we go. Now it works both ways. If you wanna learn how to animate these AirPods in Figma, like what you see in the hero section, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to create a video and show you how it's done. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Have an awesome day and see you soon.